brought back all of the anxiety for us because at home we all kind of stuck together, my mother-in-law and the kids and I, uh, at my house so that any phone call that came from search and rescue would come to one place and then I would call the wives of the other men, let them know what was going on. Search and rescue came from Edmonton. They had um, helicopters and uh, they had uh, a Hercules aircraft with the big bubbles on the side for the spotters and they just they just did a fabulous job. I can't tell you how wonderful it was to, to have worked with those fine people. And when they were discovered, it was the search and rescue SARS team that jumped out uh, with parachutes and put tents up for them. And, and uh, it was funny because the guys said, we were starving. We hadn't eaten anything in three days and we'd been shaking so much, you know, that to try to keep warm that your body is just desperate for some kind of food and he said even with that kind of hunger we couldn't stand canned eggs <laughs> anyways it was it was a, a really intense time I thought that I'd lost my husband and um, and I thought about all the things that I kvetched about you know pick up your towel off the floor and don't leave your whiskers in the sink and you say to yourself, oh, I'd give anything for that towel on the floor. I'd give anything for those whiskers in the sink. And all these little petty things that you gripe about when you're cohabiting didn't mean a thing. It was, I want that person back, you know.